the magnitude of her sorrow was also the magnitude of her compassion for others in trouble. Once you knew Yoshikuni on Elizabeth Mew's Odyssey this week in the church's calendar we have the Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. It is a moment when the camera zones in on the figure standing by the cross of Jesus as, aloud and in silent tears, he writhes in agony. Mary can do nothing to help her dying son. All she can do is be there and absorb his pain by suffering with him. That is the meaning of the word compassion. It is not easy, and relatives visiting their sick family member in the hospital find it hard to just be there. Often they try to fill the space with words of comfort that express empty promises. It is just too hard to face the pain of the moment. Elizabeth Mew's Odyssey shows us there is a way. Her closest relatives were killed, some by execution, and by a Nihonda was her aunt, during the Shona Rising of 1896-7. Virtually an orphan, she was sent to the new school run by the Dominican sisters in Chishawasha. There she breathed in an atmosphere of faith which gradually transformed the bitterness in her heart to lively compassion for others. Attuned to the suffering she saw and felt the pain of women in the new location in Salisbury, Hara, whose husbands failed to share their earnings and support their families. One who remembered those days asserted, most marriages survived because of this woman. Muse Odyssey used to tell the women about gardens and having an income of their own and not being totally dependent on their husbands. And she showed this by, for example, when she rented a plot and produced maize, ground nuts, rice, pumpkins and rapoco. She did not stop there, but went on to advocate for classes in sewing and knitting, for a maternity clinic, registering marriages and other improvements in the township. She started the African women's clubs with her friends, and this included first aid training. This was compassion in action, and when her grandson, Leonard Chibuka, was asked by Tsunio Yoshikuni, a Japanese historian of early Hara, where she drew her inspiration, the reply was led Yoshikuni to write as above. The magnitude of her sorrow was also the magnitude of her compassion for others. It is women like Elizabeth Mew's Odyssey who unpack for us the message of Mary's sorrow as she stood by the cross. 20 September 2020 Sunday 25A is 55 colon 69 fill 120, 27 Mountain 20 colon 116 1 Yoshikuni T. Elizabeth Mew's Odyssey and the birth of African feminism in early colonial Zimbabwe, Weaver and Silvera House, 2008. 13 post published in Faith